welcome back to my channel gloss tips and i'm back with the fall makeup look yes and as every of my makeup looks are extremely simple extremely to the point and very very easy there's nothing complicated about it this is going to be the easiest look that you will see all season for the easiest fall makeup look so go ahead and watch don't forget to subscribe this is a get ready with me video so first of all i want to show you guys what i'm wearing I have to say I'm totally in love with it. I got this package from this brand, DYOT. This is a Pakistani brand. I don't know if you guys know about it or not, but I but now you do. So it's like it's it named it means do your own thing. So I like the name of it as it's really creative. What you need to do is you need to customize your own outfit over there. I'm going to show you guys on my Instagram how I did it through a pictorial uh, tutorial sort of a thingy. I will be listing down below the website where you can actually go customize your own thing and you guys can actually realize that okay, this from the sleeves to the fabric to the dress, everything that is in this outfit is designed by me so these are generally custom made outfits so you can get it done any how you like and any way you like coming back to the video so i'm going to start with using the beautify by amna 24k serum many of you ask me if this is all right for oily skin or not well the thing is if you put this on an oily skin make sure you put a really really tiny amount of this that's when it's going to work because if you put a lot of course you're just going to look like a bundle of oil which is not very presentable so you use a little bit of it and the thing is that you use it with the primer there the skin is generally pretty moisturized just by doing this i'm not even kidding so i'm taking the pore fade primer by beautify by amna and i'm just going to apply this on my face by the way if i'm not really posting a lot of stuff these these days it's just because guys i'm a fashion student and i'm in my fourth year now so you know how thesis year is that's exactly what's going on in my life thesis year a lot of stress a lot of tension and a lot of work so i'm still going to be posting like every week i'm going to try my best to but if i don't at least you guys know the drill why i am not doing that next i'm going to hop on into the zero palette by nabila this is the zero makeup and the reason i'm hopping on into this one is because i've never found a corrector or concealer that matches me this well so yeah I've actually color corrected my face using the corrector from the Zero Makeup palette. Now I'm going to hop on to the foundation blender and I'm just going to clear the concealing. By the way, I totally forgot to mention that I'm going to be doing my next video as a Q&A video. and you guys can drop in all your questions by using the hashtag askgossips and you guys can ask me whatever in the comments down below cuz i think i'm going to be answering a lot of questions yeah as i was just going through i was just going through my previous video which was also a q and a it was so funny because i remember i was overacting to the next level because yeah I wasn't really overacting was that's just me being a lot like being really really hyper and that's how I talk when I'm a little nervous because I never really did a Q&A before that so yeah I tend to get a little awkwardly nervously hyper so that's exactly what was happening in that video so now I'm just going to set my under eyes because it was a creamy under eye using the same zero makeup palette and it comes with a powder By the way if you guys haven't checked a review on this product you guys should I will be linking it down in the description box for you guys Now the reason we set it with a powder is just so that our cream sets in place and it doesn't really give us a lot of issues like it doesn't move around everywhere so that's the thing So I'm just going to grab my luscious brow lux pencil and this is my favorite favorite brow filler and the reason for that would be because i'm a lazy person 
I cannot put hours into my eyebrows and this thing helps me out with that like crazy. Alright, so there we have bold eyebrows. This is the boldest I wanted to go like that. Now for this step what we generally need is any brown eyeshadow that you guys like. I'm going to be choosing the one from my the Balm Void palette. This one right here but you guys can use any that you like because yeah it's just a brown eyeshadow. Any brown eyeshadow will do. So we need like a flat brush. Then we need a blending brush. I'm going to take this color right here. This is a brown by the way. I'm going to take the brown. I'm just going to tap it on my eyes all right so I put on the brown eyeshadow on top of my eyes and I just made sure that it covers my lids now I'm gonna use my beauty not beauty blender my blending brush and I'm just gonna blend the outer edges so that it looks seamless and nice We have brown eyes and trust me we didn't even do anything we just put on one eyeshadow we just blended the edges that's it that's how simple makeup should be this is in the eyelash brand Glossips which you guys know is my own and I'm going to be using the lashes in drama and that is what they look like you guys want to know where to get them from you guys oh my god have you guys like added me up on Instagram if you, had, if you haven't really added me up on Instagram, go ahead and add me on Instagram. And that's where you can DM me to order these little babies. And yeah, I'll let you guys know the rest over there. So I'm just going to apply these and come back. Okay, so I'm back with the eyelashes. And now I'm just going to put on a little bit more brown under my eyes. I'm going to take a lighter brown than that one now. And just put some under my eyes. I wouldn't have done this step if... I didn't put on eyelashes. If you guys haven't put on eyelashes and you guys are okay with your mascaras, I don't think you guys need to do this honestly because yeah. Moving on, I'm going to grab my contour kit by Luscious Cosmetics and I like, I love this one, you guys know that. So I'm going to take both of these shades like this because that's how I use it. I'm just going to bronze my face a little with this. highlighter I know I gave you guys a little tease on my Instagram where I was I had like a blinding blinding highlighter on and I told you guys it is very affordable it costs like around 300 rupees in Pakistan and you guys were like which highlighter is this and I thought I'd disclose it in a video that's how evil I am so here it is this is a brand called I don't even know what it's called if it's Fiv, Fivna or Fivna I don't really know how to pronounce it but it's F E with a with an illustrated eye I think WNA and this costs around 300 rupees if you live in if you live in Karachi you'll very easily find it in Gulf and if you live in Lahore I think you can find it in places like Victoria's and Easy Mart and stuff like that because I saw this there too but I bought myself I bought this one for myself from Karachi by the way you guys will see what it's like Do you guys see that? That is a 300 rupees highlighter. Can you guys believe that? I mean, that's a go-go for me anyway, any day. So, we're done with this part and the only thing that we are left with right now is our lipstick. Now, of course, if you guys want to carry this as a daytime sort of a thing and you want like a lighter lip color to it, yes, you can. Something that matches my lips already, a color like that would be amazing for this look. But as this is a fall makeup tutorial and of course, in fall, I do tend to dress up more. I do tend to put on a lot more darker colors on myself. So I would go on with a darker color. But it's totally up to you guys. That's your pick. Colourpop in the shade Tule. I'm going to apply it onto my lips. My lips, my lips, my lips, my lips. <laughs> And 
And oh my god, I have so many comments from people asking if I got lip fillers. No guys, I haven't gotten lip fillers. Why? Because A, nobody's gonna pay for it and B, I don't need it and C, my mom would kill me. So there we go, we have actually applied the lip color as well and yes, this is the lip color that I will go for if it's fall or any wintry, reaching winter sort of a season because I love dark colors. Now I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial and I hope you guys will try it on and let me know how it worked out for you guys. So keep watching.